This is better to know an expense. <laughs> Demanding his cash back today, it's every disabled person's favourite minister, the Right Honourable Ian Duncan Smith. Old Ian here has a bit of history making ridiculous expense claims, having previously billed the taxpayers for his laundry, his lunches, a mirror, his underwear, and, in perhaps the strangest claim ever submitted, he claimed for his haircuts. Alongside this, Ian once claimed a whopping 39 quid for a full English breakfast, and, along with his missus, is alleged to receive 1.5 million annually from the EU to look after his farm. Ian has also previously made headlines for allegedly forging his CV, and, at present, is currently involved in the demonisation of anyone dependent on the welfare state, having introduced a range of policies which have made life tougher for those at the bottom. But, in an effort to win the hearts of the common folk, and to prove that his extravagant expense claims were behind him, Ian claimed he could live on 53 quid a week. Could you survive on 53 pounds a week? Well, if I had to, I would. However, as Arian has been quick to point out, serial fraudulent benefit claimants just can't stop themselves from attempting to defraud the taxpayer. And, in what few have described as Arian's finest moments, Ian Duncan Smith claimed £100.56 in 2013 for a pack of 60 all-purpose flash wipes. Just to put that into perspective, if Arian was true to his word and tried to live off 53 quid a week, he would have blown half of his month's salary on a pack of cloths. But what's truly bizarre about this claim, other than the fact that Arian has regularly criticised people who receive 57 quid a week on benefits to scroungers, is just how much Arian, a man who swears by the government's austerity principles, overspent on a 60 pack of flash wipes. Now, assuming that Arian completed his expense forms correctly, the £100.56 he shelled out for these flash wipes is roughly 20 times more than he would have paid had he shopped around online. Or, if he fancied going up market, he could have invested in the same kind of flash wipes from Poundland. In fact, had he shopped at Poundland for the £100.56 Arian spent, he could have got himself a whopping 6,033 flash wipes. You can't argue with those prices. Although the fact that Arian has massively overpaid and claimed for a basic item does make you wonder how much he's overspent on his department's projects. Actually, on second thoughts it doesn't, as a quick Google search shows that Arian's flagship Universal Credit Scheme has seen £131 million of taxpayers' money written off, has cost £800 million more than Arian estimated, and is so far behind schedule the project has now been given a rating of reset. Still, it's important to remember that all of this, especially the expense claims for the flash wipes, is all hush-hush, as Ian has threatened to sue anyone who makes claims about his claims, and once reduced an aid to tears after becoming extremely angry when they gave evidence in Parliament about his previous expense claims. So, there we have it, a favoured dodgy expense claim from one of Britain's most serial claimants, and while Arian himself may believe that there's no place in a society for benefit cheats, it's worth better knowing that having now armed himself with a 60 pack of flash wipes, purchased for an inflation busting 6,033% of their actual value, there is hope that Ian may be getting ready to figuratively clean up some of the financial and social mess that his reforms and policies have caused, or more likely he may need these wipes to ensure that his other taxpayer funded items are left without a scratch. Shit.